Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a somewhat pleasant 43 degree Friday, the 14th of December. It was uh, 32 when we woke up this morning. It's already kicked up 11 degrees that quick. But it's kind of pleasing out here. And it's Friday. That's always a good thing. Look at the blue skies back there. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's Friday, Mama. Yes. This rules out. All right. All right. <laughs> Check out these wicked cool looking skies. Man, that's really cool looking. Little woman? Yes, it's Friday. Thank, Thank goodness you. it is Friday. <laughs> There's nice and beautiful clouds. Like Aren't those serious clouds? clouds? What's that? I love the cotton ball clouds. Yeah, I do too. Beautiful. Anyway, I'm gonna go down and start my Friday. Already? First thing I'm gonna do is swap out Richard's wheels here. Give him a piece of his first one <laughs> with his new one. And it's dry out, maybe he'd like to come get it. Yeah, Alright, I'm gonna go roll. Love you too. That's all I can show you of that. <laughs> a very, very, very small production run. The wheels may not have been assembled and tightened to specific um, torque specs. There's a test we do and if it passes we basically redo the wheel. If it doesn't you replace the wheel. Even though they have no miles on the only running they had was on the rolling road at the factory but it's enough they say replace it. So anyway uh, Richard's bike which I never showed you guys the completed thing last time you seen is all dirty and dusty. But uh, she's completed and ready to go home with one hitch. <laughs> so instead of waiting for the wheels to come up, this is Richard's first bike, the one that was not ordered to his specs, mistakenly. This one's not part of that bolt, and there's not even an inspection for it. You just do the normal spoke inspection at the service intervals. That is, that bike is perfect the way it is. I absolutely love this rally exactly how it is. No center stand, that one piece seat. And if I was to purchase it, I would, it comes with a kit to, to cover these holes. And it just makes this a, a solid piece because it's got the divot for the Vario bags. Anyway, you, you take the bolt out and you put a, a cover over it. And I would take the, uh, the rack off that thing if you guys have seen these things in full rally trim that looks so good and plus with the rack with this one piece seat it just doesn't it just doesn't look right it look way better with the rack gone but anyway i take the rack off and do nothing and i would want it oddly enough i'd want it with the the standard gauge on there i wouldn't touch that little mini shield who keeps coming in here? I don't know why, and it's not me doing it. I like the shield in the down position, but somebody comes through and always lifts the shield, always to the highest thing. They do it on the showroom floor. I don't know if somebody thinks that gives it a better look. I like, they don't look right with the shield in here. Oh, that's beautiful. You know, this one, I'm thinking I might do the same with this one as I did with the uh, with the 750 um, HP, the GSHP 750, 1250 HP. I think I'm gonna leave the guards off and let the customer decide if he wants them on. Cause see that covers. See how much it covers the frame. I mean, they have a very useful thing to them, but that just that blue frame sticking out just looks so good. And then the swing arm pivot bolt has a really cool high-tech look to it but anyway so you don't just swap wheels on a bmw because they have the rdc's or the tpms or tire pressure monitoring system so it has to be these wheels have to be written into his new bike oh that looks cool that looks really cool that 
looks really, really cool. Well, this is how you get two wheels off at once. I don't necessarily have to take them both off at once, but when I get to the front wheel, <laughs> both of them have to be in the air. So I'll, uh, actually you can use some straps and push down from the back, but I just use a, a board and a, and a scissor jack and lift it. And I just lift it just until the rear tire touches and it like puts it on a, on a tripod when you do that. You just gotta make sure that the foot, foot lever for the uh, center stand doesn't hit before the back wheel touches, but you can see with the uh, um, longer suspension on these things, even though that center stand is unique to the rally with sports suspension only because it's the longest center stand, it's still real close to the ground. But as close as that is, when it pivots back, this won't touch before the wheel touches and it works like a tripod, so it makes it real stable up front. And I'll be able to swap front and rears, and it doesn't take long at all to take the wheels off a BMW, especially when you got a single-sided swing arm. That's like a major bonus. <laughs> kind of creepy looking, huh? very easy on these things these things are meant to be efficient this is this is all I'm gonna show you on the recall and just pay attention this is off the first rally this is off of this bike Need I say any more? What's better than the sound and smell of a ski doo with an E-Tech motor running? Two of them running. That's my boy, the, the snowmobile expert. God, that smells so incredibly good. Well, Richard. And, of course, all you SVP vans out there. This is Richard's, the second one. The one he wanted the first time. But we made a little clerical error. This is his 2018 R1200 GS Rally. With sport suspension. That just gives that thing a look. I love that tall look. But even, <laughs> even with suspension set in the uh, softest setting... It's still, she's tall, but I like it. That don't bother me a bit. When I first started riding these things, that was a little, little threatening, but got used to it. So I went up there, put gas in it, and the odometer showed one mile. Let's make sure it wasn't, I didn't pay attention to the tents to see if she's at. I just went up, the, yeah, it's still showing one mile. So this should be about eight tenths I'm gonna put on your bike. The last time this thing rolled, other than me rolling up to the gas caddy up, upstairs, um, last time it rolled was in uh, Berlin, Germany on the rolling road while BMW's doing their test on them. So I'll do my uh, typical parking lot test ride. Make sure everything uh, functions as it should. The weather's holding out. I thought it was supposed to dump today. Oh yeah. Nothing like a boxer being down underneath you. That's such a beautiful look, that color combination. It's really important to me, more than what a bike looks like when I'm walking up to it, although that's extremely important. But what you see when you're riding down the road, that ultimately has to be very pleasing. I've seen some bikes that are so beautiful and then you jump on them and it's like this mud duck look when you're driving it. I don't care how beautiful it is or it's, it's gotta talk to me in several different ways and the look when I'm driving down the road has gotta be one of them for sure. Or you just always have this like a 
you compromise feeling forever until you get trade her off to the next thing or sell it or whatever you know <laughs> I know that's just an OCD thing but it's just the way I am unfortunately or fortunately I have no idea I'm sure it's unfortunate <laughs> this i got a dry patch i can yeah i'm gonna have to go through one oh no i can miss it all the guys in the shop over there probably looking going what is he doing still go nice and slow so i don't sling anything on the fresh new motorcycle so he's either gonna you know, we thought it was gonna rain and mike was gonna put it in an enclosed trailer and uh take it right to his front door I don't know uh, now that it's not raining or maybe he'll uh, he'll come get it. Shift assist pro working like it should. She's got all seven and a half gear. Whoa, man. It's only supposed to have six. Something's wrong. No. <laughs> Although that would just totally trip me out if all of a sudden I seen a seven pop up on the gauge there, wouldn't it? I'd really be freaked out if I seen 7.5. I think I'd have to just pull over and uh, take a deep breath and uh, recalculate life. There's something that is way wrong. <laughs> lovely, lovely motorcycles. I don't know why I'd swing over this way. I always end up with cars backing out, people coming across the parking lot, all kinds of crazy things. That's just one of those things you're asking for it, you know? that this thing's rolling on is from the first. Oh, I did a little uh, <laughs> a little spoke dean sample for you. I forgot about that. So you guys already know about all that. But uh, that bike wasn't part of the bulletin. It was just this real short production run. It was like a late production run. That was my boy. is next to uh, Mike's desk up here. Well, I see Karen standing there, but either way, they won't let nobody touch it. He must have went to lunch or something because I just got off the phone with him. He's asking how I was doing. That I was rewriting the tire pressure sensors and I'll take it for a ride and be right up. Shh, don't say anything. I'm gonna put it on the floor. Let's see if I can find a puck somewhere. But don't tell nobody. Especially don't let BMW know. They'll really get mad at me. <laughs> well, there you go, Richard. She is a beauty. You're gonna have many, many, many miles and years, however, however long you wanna keep her. She'll be good for you and good to you. Amazing motorcycles. All right, I'm bouncing. Man, there is the craziest wind going on out here. I'm sure you probably can't hear that, but it is nuts. That's really cool. I come walking downstairs in this snowmobile cover. I'm assuming it came from this one over here because it's not on there. I come flying across the parking lot. I think this is one of our demos or something. Crazy. I have the road mic with the windsock on there. I don't know how well that's handling this wind. Pretty wild though, huh? Gusty. 
Well, it's a good thing I came out here and put that one on because the other side was... Whoa, almost blew my hat off. He's mid. Wow, that's crazy. That's some crazy wind right there. Holy moly. Man, that's nuts. It just blew a BMW crate up in the air over there. But he's missing some of his clamps here that are broke off. But it's struck down, it can't go anywhere. Holy moly. That's a crazy wind right there. Woo! Well, I don't see anything else that's trying to that has tried to blow away yet. Jeez, seven shades are crazy out here. I better check the weather patterns and make sure uh, trees haven't blown over on the freeway and stuff. We get that a lot. Well, hello there, YouTube. Welcome to Friday evening. The looks like it's a little windy out here. It looks like they had a bit of a storm. I don't think it was as strong as what it was in Vancouver, though. Yeah, that was crazy. It was supposed to hit between 10 and 1 today or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it was supposed to last from 10 to 7. Oh, 10 to 7? 10 to 7. Oh. We might still have more coming. Yeah, we still got half hour. We Apologize for that. I don't know what in the world. The camera's freaking out. It's going into like some recall mode. Really you know, weird. the custom function things. I hold the camera the same way. I'm not hitting the button. And no idea. Maybe it's yeah, the way I. Brain fart. Yeah, that was really weird. The camera's freaking out on me. And it just kept popping up this custom function thing. I'm going, I'm not pushing any of the custom function things. What's going on? Yeah. Technology is a The camera keeps doing it. <laughs> it is freaking out and just goes into this recall mode and shows all these custom functions. So we should probably, probably say goodbye now. Yeah, because we have several cuts in there now. Or I'm going to be so. doing the you know, front camera on an iPhone and that's not going to look very pretty in here. No, not in the Yeah, this low is like light. super low light. But I don't know what in the world's going on. It's like a button is stuck because I was in there clicking on to see if something was stuck maybe some dirt or something got in it yeah. who knows that seems to be doing fine but anyway thank you guys uh richard got his bike delivered to him mike took it to him today and uh he's got nice wheels on there he's he's good to go good to go for the duration very cool <laughs> so uh richard if you're watching this enjoy that bike and i hope you get looks like this weekend or at least on saturday where you're gonna have a nice day Get out there and ride, ride, ride that beautiful bike. Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. So, I guess we should roll out before we have some other freaky camera yeah, thing going on. before the rain here. catches up, and it's already coming and starting. Yeah, I'm here. It's going to get here to start soaked. the pound, yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke tent, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up, and I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday or Sunday. Heck, yeah. I apologize for the weird camera issues. I, I hope that didn't like erase the little clips what little ones we had but. i know it <laughs> get this little that 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 <laughs> we're trying to get to the end uh, the last time we did we're just sitting here watching the screen and it just go ink ink, ink ink it's just like the camera just like lost its nugget yeah like it lost its mind and just going crazy on us yep seems fine now though but, all right we'll all roll right up. thank you guys very much yes. now <laughs> bye bye